let's talk about a cool trick that you can do using SSH. Now SSH has some limitations to it. It's a great program, it's a great set of utilities that can help you connect remotely across the network and securely. But it does have some limitations. For example, there's a lack of an ability to open multiple windows in a session. That's difficult to do. There's also difficulty in reconnecting to a session. Once you've disconnected, reconnecting to that same session is problematic and you may want to disconnect to it and reconnect to it later and still have your programs and processes and things running that you needed to run. Now there's a solution to this. It's called the screen command. And while it really doesn't have a lot to do with SSH in particular, they're two separate types of utilities, the screen command can work hand in hand with SSH to help fix some of these limitations. First of all, it allows multiple terminal windows to be opened so that you can run different processes and different things and go back and forth between them. You can also reconnect to a previous terminal session uh, using screen because it will keep them running in the background. Even after you disconnect, you can reconnect and it will be running. Let's do a quick demonstration of screen so you can kind of see how it works. We're in computer B and let's open up a terminal and we're going to talk about how screen works. Let's first establish a secure shell session to computer A. And now that we put our password in, we've got a session. Now we've only got one little terminal session here. Now we could open multiple SSH sessions, but that's really not what we want to do because that is a little bit of an overhead and involves a little bit of a performance hit with our network traffic. So what we would want to do ideally is open multiple terminal windows using the screen command from this particular secure shell session. All we have to do is type in screen to get that running and it's going to give us a little bit of a, a banner there and we can read that whatever and but we can press space or return to get it going. Now it doesn't look like it did anything. Now there's a set of hotkeys that you use by default it's control A and a series of other keys that can create other screens or uh, switch back and forth between the screens. There's also things you can do screen commands itself such as screen dash ls to list your screens that are running. Now we can create other screens and perform other functions at those screens. For example, control A and C is the key combination that actually creates another screen. So now we've got another screen. Let's do a PS dash E after look at our processes really quick. Um, control A C again gets us another screen. Let's do an LS dash AL and control A and another screen gets us uh, another screen and then we can do something like uh, cat etsy host and let's look at our host file. So now we've got these screens open how do we get back and forth between them? Well we can go do a control A and N or control A and P and that means previous and next and that can switch back and forth between our screens. Okay, that was where we started. That's our ps-ef. Um, that's our directory listing. And that's our host file. So we have these different screens open. And again, we can name these screens so that uh, we can have an easy reference for them if we like. If you've got more than two or three screens open and you want to be able to easy reference, then you can do that. Now let's get back to our main screen here and if we want we can see what some of the options are and there's different things we can do with screens and there's a lot of different things you can do to use this command well with SSH different options you can rename the screens you can exit them you can detach from them so that they're running in the background and you're not attached to them anymore if you detach to them once you uh, go back to your secure shell session you can reattach to those screens as well using the dash R commands you can create titles for them and so forth. So there's a lot you can do here. Now if you want to disconnect, you can disconnect and then come back to them later. So that's really essentially all there is to using the screen command with SSH. It's a really cool little utility that allows you to open multiple terminal windows and do various things in them. And more importantly, 
reconnect to those same screens later if you need to disconnect your session for any reason.